Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're gonna get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we've got a new release date for the Tesla Model 3 Ludicrous. So let's take a look at it and see what are all the details that have been released. We're gonna take a look at that plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And today's live stream and all live streams are partnered with Mint Mobile down below in the description, but more on that later. So take a look at the Yan Chang. Take a look at this post. Here's some updates about the Model 3 Ludicrous. The launch is expected around the 20th of this month and to possibly con concede with financial report release and because this is what people are talking about because there is a next earnings call in the near future. I want to say I should have pulled this up beforehand, but it is for April 23rd. So they are saying, where this person is saying is that they will Tesla will release the Model 3 Ludicrous right before that and then so that they can talk about it on their earnings call at the end of or at the end of this month kind of would make some sense here and 420 is a hilarious number as well especially if you are a longtime Tesla viewer or a Tesla follower you'll know that that could certainly be like a very Elon thing to do. And on top of that, 420 is a Saturday. I mean, not the most optimal for that, but that is the Saturday right before the earnings call, which is Tuesday, April 23rd. But if I had to put my money on it, I mean, 420 is a funny number for sure, but I guess they might switch that up and do like a 418, which would be that Thursday right before the actual release. Next one here is there's no significant, there are not significant changes in the platform as it has not adopted a new high voltage platform like the Cybertruck. Number three is power improvements focused mainly on a new rear motor. Really nice. Number four, it features CDC dampeners but does not have air suspension. We've kind of seen that through the leaks on the internal screens and things like that. And regenerative braking can be completely turned off that's an interesting point or a leak here i mean we don't know if this is actual leak but here are some things that are collected for the model 3 ludicrous that could be coming up later this month but that's an interesting one regenerative braking can be turned off or completely turned off that is a very a very interesting one for sure but uh let me know what your thoughts on it. do you think that is right do you think this is something that could be actually be a thing do you think it's going to be 420 i mean that's what some people are saying and shout out to tesla newswire for posting this we've got tesla upgraded model 3 ludicrous rumored to be unveiled on april 3rd 20th and and we've got pretty much the same thing, I guess, rewritten here. But of course, we got a very nice shot of the Model 3, the rear of the Model 3 Plaid ludicrous performance at the back of that. But let me know what your thoughts on it. Do you think April 20th is the date? I mean, we could certainly see Tesla doing something like that as they like to troll for that. And then here's a Model 3 Ludicrous versus a long range side by side comparison. It is very interesting to see how much lower, I mean not much lower, but it does have a lower stance or it appears to have a lower stance, maybe it's because of the bigger rims, of the performance versus a long range. Certainly more sportier at the end of the day. Shout out to Nick for posting this article or posting these photos of the Model 3 Ludicrous. And here's another post. Ludicrous launch April 20th. I mean, I guess I could put my money on that as well. I certainly feel like that could be the right time, be the right date for the Tesla Model 3 performance. Ludicrous. Sorry, my like number, my number was calling for some reason. I couldn't 
wasn't able to drop that off. But let me know. Do you think April 20th is the right day? I guess I'll put a poll in the chat. But uh, let me know what you're thinking. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. But we're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, just a quick word from our partner. But before we get into our next topic, we all love saving money, right? And we hate overpaying. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Mint Mobile for our daily live streams. How much are you paying for your mobile plan? And what do you actually get? Speed, coverage, data access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, and mobile hotspot even? Well, Mint offers all of these features for as low as $15 a month. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. Don't be duped. Go to trymintmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. All right, thanks for that. Uh, Leo, thanks for coming in. Model 3 Ludicrous could be Plaid Taycan GT, Lucid Air, competitor. Well, I guess we could see that uh, for sure. Riven R2 and R3 can do 0 to 60 in two, under three seconds. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe well, at least what they're putting on the paper now. Ryan, thanks for coming in. Tesla 54, thanks for the super chat. Dennis, I can get a 2023 Model 3 performance with 6K miles up for 38,000 miles. Should I buy it now or buy or lease it to Chris instead? What credit score does require Tesla require? It's about a 600 plus, a higher but the better, 700 plus to be on the safe side. But uh, I would say don't buy a Model 3 performance yet, the old one, because wait till this little Chris comes out because once the little Chris comes out, it is certainly going to decrease the value of the older ones pretty quickly. And so you might as well just wait either way since we're so close to what is about to happen. Melvin, Model 3 Performance or Model 3 Long Range and a full tax credit is all I need. Yeah, that's true. Once the Model 3 Performance ludicrous comes out, maybe it might qualify for the 7,500 federal tax credit. Paul, thanks for coming in. You see my article? Yeah, I saw it. I favored it, but I haven't read it yet. Sorry for about that. Devar, we, we sh all should have known 420. Yeah, I guess in hindsight, 420 is the way to go. Leo, why do some Tesla Farm boys keep saying Rivian will go bankrupt every time I say Rivian is more promising? Uh, I guess it's like, you know, the, this, the, this or that type of thing. Oh, and on top of that, we've got a giveaway running on the channel right now with Bespoke Design Lab. So if you're in the Southern California area or willing to travel to, travel to the Southern California area, and we're giving away paint protection film or vinyl change color film. If you're interested in entering into this giveaway, head on over to our YouTube community page where you'll find the top post right here where it gives you all the different instructions on how to enter in into the giveaway. And on top of that, we're giving away part of the giveaway, a set of Tesla sipping glasses as well for anybody that is not in the area and that can't can't join in because they don't feel like they could join in because it's too far or, or something like that. Let's see here. Oh, not that one. This one. Let's see what else we got. And on top of that, Tenet is giving away a, fr a free electric vehicle. Or not giving away. You can get a free electric vehicle charger down below in the description. Check out Tenet EV Finance. We are financing. We are sponsored by Tesla EV Financing. But if you're interested in getting a free electric charger, definitely check out the link down below in the description. Tenet is an electric vehicle financing company. And you can see what their offer is just by simply doing a soft credit inquiry on their website. So definitely check it out. And thank you to Tenet for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month. Gibson, even the owner demo on the app said version 4 2024, lots of signs pointing to 420. Yeah, I mean, that would certainly be the day and time because that just makes sense at this point. 
In this next topic, there is a brand new video of the new Tesla LED adaptive lights, and it looks very, very cool and promising. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Des. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Tesla North. They posted this. Or shout out to Tesla Europe and Middle East. They posted this. Here is the actual video. And so I'll tell you and explain to you what is going on here and why this is a such important piece of technology. So you can see there is a little bit of a cutout in which the LEDs do not blind the person from the rear. And also there's a cutout as someone another on opposite comes traffic block comes from the opposite direction as well so this is a great thing because i don't know about you all whenever we're driving around at nighttime the lights coming from the other side are certainly super super bright and so i've been waiting for this type of technology to come out to the u.s for a while i think it's in europe at the moment but right now you cannot get it in the u.s at all there are some vehicles that have, you can maybe software unlock it, but it is not approved, especially for Tesla. And so I'm certainly excited to see this type of technology coming to Tesla because it will certainly help us all drive a little bit safer at the end of each night. But let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic. Rivian Financials, Pat, I guess that's why people are there hating. Yeah. Leo, will there... Will they ever though? Because Rivian is one of the most unveiled more affordable models recently and they prom under promise and under delivered. Yeah, I'm excited to see what Rivian's gonna come out because I like the brand. I, I like the stock. I like all the different things with it. Protect your privates. Thanks for coming in. Model 3 performance may be cheaper than long range with the 7,500 discount. Yes, it might be. And so that could be very, very interesting. But if you're just joining in, everybody, welcome. We've got a new rumor for the Tesla Model 3 performance. Ludicrous, that could have a launch date of April 20th as it currently sits, which in hindsight, that certainly makes a lot of sense for that date. And so we could see that in the near future. Gus, I say April 19th. That'd be funny, right? If they just do it like I could... Honestly, at this point, I can see April 18th or April 20th at this point. Tesla 54, I almost bought it the other day, but held off, but the car is still available. Yeah, you might as well just wait it out uh, as you can because it doesn't make sense at this point. Pat, 54K, no tax credit? Uh, no, this definitely might be a tax credit. We'll see with that. I mean, at least the old one had it, so we'll see if the new one can also get it as well. In this next topic, we've got an interesting post because now we've got a pricing for a replacement cost for a 2022 Tesla Model Y long range. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Interesting post here. Shout out to Blue EV or actually the post was originally on Twitter or Reddit from additional Jello 398. And we've got a post. It seems like, quote, I had my 2022 Model Y that I rent out on Turo. It's been a year on Turo and nothing major has happened until this last trip. Guest states, she ran over a dead deer covered in snow. I thought I'd share the replacement cost. So it seems like this is a screenshot from Tesla service and we've got a replacement cost for a battery at almost $13,000. Of course, this is like a damage replacement, but still really interesting to see what the replacement cost would be on a Tesla Model Y if you wanted to replace it or had to replace it at the end, near the end of the life. But the comments are kind of interesting as well. It seems like the price replacement cost used to be much higher than this. And now certainly 12,000 or 13,000 is a more palatable, palatable type of number. But still interesting to see these type of things. I mean, I've certainly never seen how much a Tesla Model Y replacement cost would actually be. But let me know what your thoughts on it. And let me know, do you think this is a surprising price? Or do you think this is how much it should be at the end of the day? But let's jump into the live stream comments. Alec, thanks for coming in. Or X, X, X. Uh, AH. The Malibu event for the Ludicrous was a couple days ago, and 420 is almost two weeks out. A lot of people assume that it would be because the event reviews would drop soon. Yeah, I don't think it would drop that late. Yeah, I guess, but 420 has a nice funny name to it or ring to it, so we can see. Gibson, as long as we wait for it, what's an extra 12 days? I'm stoked. Yes, get your credit cards ready, get your deposit money ready because it's going to be a $250 deposit. And I can say, I saw a Model 3 Highland the other day, and... Uh, 
It was slammed. It was on rim. Shout out to um, Scar- Scar- Tintino. It was a cool car. That's for sure. Unknown. I just bought a 2021 Model 3, 16,000 miles for 21K with Binance discount. Nice. You got that $4,000 EV cost or EV rebate. Nice. Congrats to you for sure on that enjoyed in good health and uh don't forget to check out our tesla discount accessory codes down below in the description as well we got tes bros vian jawa for the best interior accessories and we got mag back as well and if you're someone that hasn't bought a tesla yet don't forget to use a tesla referral code just like the one down below in the description so you can get three months of full self-driving on a tesla model y x or even s at, which is valued at six hundred dollars but thank you to everybody that's used our tesla referral code in the past and and in the future. In this next topic, the EV war continues to heat up as now we've got a massive drop, $30,000, not price drop, but in all different incentives on this electric vehicle. And this electric vehicle is a Lucid Air Pure. Shout out to Inside EVs for posting this. Quote, if you pick the base Lucid Air Pure, its price should fall under $60,000 with all the discounts being offered. This is a massive price drop or massive value. I mean, because certainly I didn't like the Lucids at 80 k I didn't like it at 100 or 120 k but at 60 k that's a kind of a different ball game. I mean, that's undercutting Model S like crazy. I don't know about you all, but we have certainly been seeing a lot more Lucids around on the roads. And at $60,000 for a base Lucid Air, Pure, that could be really interesting. But before we get out all of our credit cards and go act to try and buy one of these, it does appear this seems to be a California only one because it does say all the deals, all the best deals seem to come from California because in Los Angeles, you can get a $5,000 on site vehicle bonus out of inventory. Because if I went to go to Tesla or if I went to go to lucid.com, I can see the lowest price lucid air at the moment is $71,000. So it does seem like there's some inventory discounts being applied that isn't shown on the website just yet. And you have to go into a store to actually take a look at it. But still, nonetheless, very interesting. You see big discounts from other manufacturers. And so we need discounts on the Model 3 side and the Model S side. So we'll see what actually happens. But we're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, water break. Ten, ten, uh, Tesla 54, is tenant better for your lease or financing using Tesla? Depends on what your goal is, really. Lucid, you can lease for $6.99 a month, 18 month lease as well. Yeah, it seems like Lucid is having a tough time trying to sell these vehicles. George, Lucid is the best electric EV on the market. Do you have a Lucid or have you had a Tesla before? I want to hear your thoughts on that. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, the comments, and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.